Some animals in the food chain are prey animals. They are captured and eaten by other animals. Some animals are predators. Predators capture and eat other animals. So here we've got an eagle and a rabbit. The eagle is the predator and its prey is a rabbit. Now the eagle and the rabbit may well form part of a much bigger food chain where all these animals have an interdependent relationship. They depend on each other for food and perhaps if the rabbit numbers went down the eagle could switch over to eating more fox or mice and so on. However in some cases predator and prey relationships are so dependent on each other that they form very special cycles called predator-prey cycles. We're going to look at one predator-prey relationship which is between a hare and a lynx. So over many years we have data on the number in thousands of our prey species, the hare, which is over here, and the predator species, the lynx, which is what is going to be catching and eating the hare. And you can see straight away that this data has a cyclic pattern with rise and falls going up and down over this long time period. So looking into more detail at that, let's look at, for example, this section on the graph just here. You'll notice that few predators mean the prey numbers rise. So when the lynx, the orange line here, is very low, these prey numbers start to rise really rapidly. And then when the prey numbers rise in this section here, shortly afterwards, the number of predators also rises. Because when the prey numbers rise, the predators have more food available, so their numbers rise. And this is because they are surviving longer and able to reproduce successfully because of all that food that is now available. However, an increase in predators means that more prey is being eaten. And then you'll notice at this point here, these prey numbers will start to fall because those predator numbers had got quite high. There is now less food for the predators. So the predator numbers start to fall again. So the prey starts to rapidly decline and then you'll notice here, so does the lynx and that starts to fall again. And this cycle of prey increasing and predators increasing and then falling is called a predator-prey relationship and you can see that that is repeated every few years in these cycles. So the numbers of hair that you'll find is totally dependent on the numbers of lynx in the population and vice versa. So the number of lynx you'll find will also be dependent on the prey that is available. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.